Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Cho'Gath, the Terror of the Void. Cho'Gath is a tanky fighter-mage hybrid. He excels at withstanding damage, crowd controlling groups of enemies, and dealing very significant burst damage to single targets. Cho'Gath's passive is Carnivore. Every time Cho'Gath kills a minion, monster, or champion, he regains a small amount of health and mana. After a brief delay, Rupture damages, knocks up, and slows all enemies in an area. This ability can be cast in the Fog of War to hit enemies you can't see. I take Rupture at level 1 and max it by level 13. Feral Scream damages and silences all enemies in a cone. I take Feral Scream at level 2 and max it by level 9. Vorpal Spikes passively causes Cho'Gath's basic attacks to deal additional damage to all enemies in front of him, including the main target. Vorpal Spikes may be toggled on or off just in case you don't want the extra damage. I take Vorpal Spikes at level 4 and max it last. Feast deals immense true damage to a single enemy, dealing significant damage to a champion and even more damage to minions and monsters. If Cho'Gath kills the enemy with Feast, he grows larger and gains a Feast stack that increases his maximum health. Feast can only stack a few times, but stacks last until death, upon which he loses half his stacks. Cho'Gath excels at soloing the top lane, using teleport to get him back into lane or into teamfights. However, lacking Ghost or Flash can make you gankable without smart play. Udyr comes to gank from the river, so I head to the brush, attempting to juke. By baiting Udyr into the brush as well, I land a blind rupture and immediately turn to run away. While Teemo's exhaust slows me, boots of speed and movement speed quintessences allow me to outrun Udyr. As he retreats, I turn to fight Teemo, landing Feral Scream, Exhaust, and a basic attack. Again, I retreat and recall back to base. However, I notice that Malzahar is coming to gank, so I immediately teleport back to the lane and push the minions to his turret. Teleport also allows you to help teammates across the map. Here I see Poppy and Udyr try to gank Ash and Soraka, so I teleport onto a nearby minion. As a result, Udyr and Poppy immediately flee, but Exhaust allows me to easily land Rupture, chasing Udyr to his turret. Unfortunately, I'm unable to deal quite enough damage and he survives my feast with 45 health remaining. However, by pushing these champions back to their base, we're able to kill the dragon with ease. In a team fight in mid lane, I try to focus high priority squishy targets. I exhaust Teemo and push forward, taking on Rise with Feral Scream and Feast. As he runs with Quicksilver Sash, I continue chasing, as my significant movement speed through Force of Nature, Runes, and Masteries allow me to chase down Rise, taking him down with basic attacks, Vorpal Spikes, and another Feral Scream. I want to ignore tanks like Leona, but once I see Udyr and Teemo are retreating, I turn, landing Rupture in the Fog of War. I see she's heading to the wall in order to flash away, but Feral Scream buys enough time for Soraka and Malzahar to land their own silences and take her down once she flashes over the wall. Remember that you are your team's tank. Here in the mid lane, I lead in to absorb both of Leona's initiating moves. As a result, no one is able to stop us from destroying Rise with Feast on top of my team's damage output. Once Udyr comes out from my exhaust, I prioritize him as the most disruptive target on the enemy team, tagging him with Rupture and Feral Scream. Unable to hurt my allies, he tries to run away, but I lead him with Rupture, preventing his escape and taking a win in the fight. The worst habit you can have as Cho'Gath is chasing a target for too long. We open up a fight in the jungle, dropping Udyr to half health and killing Teemo. I tag Udyr with Feast and cause him to run. However, instead of heading back to disrupt Ryze and Leona, I chase Udyr who gets away. As a result, most of my team dies before I can make it back to the fight. Sometimes you need to play more defensively, protecting your team instead of assassinating enemies. I lead Poppy with Rupture, but Ash stops her with Enchanted Crystal Arrow. I stay on Udyr, as he will deal tons of damage to our Ash with his Trinity Force. Feast sets up Ash for a free kill, and I look around, seeing Leona extremely low on health. I take her down as she pushes onto my team, and look for targets again. As Ryze runs away, I turn around for Poppy, and then to Teemo once she runs away. Once the enemy team all gets extremely low, I can take on the role of carry. I look to force as many opponents as possible back to their base so that we can take down the inhibitor. On Dominion, start Cho'Gath at the bottom lane until level 6. His early pushing with Rupture, Feral Scream, and Vorpal Spikes is extremely strong, as you can see the Boneyard reduced to just a sliver of health before being pushed out. Play Cho'Gath as a burst caster, specifically focusing on high damage enemies. I head for Shaco, landing Feral Scream and hitting Feast as he walks across me. As he gets away, I turn onto a Mumu, who tags me with his ultimate. However, I notice Shaco deceive back into the fight. 
I sense him going for our Lux, so I walk up to her directly on top of Shaco as he exits stealth. As a result, we take him down with Feral Scream, and Lux survives. Shogath is also a great defender. Malzahar pushes towards our quarry, but I line up Rupture and Feral Scream, taking out much of the minion wave. Once the minions are cleared, I head in toward Malzahar, forcing him to completely give up on the point as I head back up to support the rest of my team. By building cooldown reduction and health regeneration through Frozen Heart, Shirelia's Reverie, and Force of Nature, Shogath can siege points for a very long period of time. I push in on the windmill with my team, harassing Vayne before diving for the kill with the active on Shirelia's Reverie plus Feast. Then I'm able to tag Fizz with Feral Scream, keeping him from escaping as Shivana and I take him down. After taking the point, we regroup to defend the windmill. Seeing Vayne get tagged, I run in just to damage her with Feast. The resulting damage lets Shaco deceive from across the screen to kill her with 2-shift poison. Without a ranged carry left on the enemy team, Amumu and Fizz make a run for it out of the windmill. For runes, I take attack speed marks, flat armor seals, flat magic resist glyphs, and movement speed quintessences. This build allows me to survive early game harassment as I sustain with carnivore, and stick to enemy targets demolishing them with warple spikes and feast. My masteries are 1, 22, 7, taking Exhaust and Teleport in Classic, or Exhaust and Ghost in Dominion. With this build, I have immense damage reduction and durability, as well as plenty of extra mana to support my significant cooldown reduction. In Classic, I open with Boots of Speed and 3 Health Potions. I rush for a Philosopher's Stone as soon as possible, and then start to adapt my build. If I'm afraid of magic damage, I'll add in Mercury Treads while grabbing a Negatron Cloak and Null Magic Mantle. If it's physical damage that worries me, Ninja Tabby and two Chain Vests will help. Your first priorities are damage mitigation and cooldown reduction, finishing Frozen Heart, Shirelia's Reverie, and Force of Nature. After, invest in damage output with Wit's End and Atma's Impaler. In Dominion, a similar build will be quite effective. Grab Philosopher's Stone and Boots of Speed early, and react to your opponents as needed. Take armor against physical attackers and magic resist against mages. Maxing your cooldown reduction with Frozen Heart, Shirelia's Reverie, and Masteries is a must, as spamming Feast will be extremely important here. Due to the fast pace of Dominion, you can't ensure maximum Feast stats, so give up on Atma's Impaler for Sunfire Cape or Odin's Veil. Thanks for tuning in to the Cho'Gath Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.